Real ACC made a new quadcopter called the X210. And it looks like this. Okay, so maybe they didn't make the quadcopter. Maybe they cloned it off another one. Anyway, it's called the Real ACC X210. 3mm and 4mm main plate. All carbon fiber. Blah, blah, blah. Let's take a look at this thing. <laughs> So here it is fully assembled. I didn't want to go slow and get this thing built slowly. I wanted to get it together see what it looks like. It comes with these spacers that have the ridges on it, which is very nice for gripping it while you're putting the screws in. But the big thing about this quad is it's still an X-frame. If you look at it like this, it's still an X-frame, even though the middle section is elongated a little bit, which is kind of nice because it gives you a little bit more room inside to get your components to fit. But the real big difference on this is having this built-in uh, camera mounts up here on the top and they did that by having the side piece come all the way down here from the bottom and it goes up here and it kind of uh, gets into the middle here and it actually goes down inside the frame back here on the back and that's kind of how it's held in place by this and the piece at the bottom and both sides are the same and then it has this another spacer up here on the top to hold them apart the right distance. The only problem with this frame, well not the only problem, but one of the problems with this frame is that this middle piece is too small and you can actually get it out of here without taking the spacer out. So this is just a little bit too small. So this, this really is not gonna do any good having this in here at all. The other biggest, the other problem that these things, that this whole quadcopter has, is that these arms uh, these spacers here have screws that are just too short especially for a four millimeter plate just as an example here's one of the screws that i just pulled out of this uh, spacer right here and if i hold this up to the uh, plate here you can see there's not much screw that's actually getting through the top plate so you really don't have a lot of meat going into these spacers these things need about another three or four millimeters on it so you can really get some threads up into the spacer and that'll give it a lot more strength and rigidity when you go to when it crashes because uh, you're gonna crash. Whether you think you will or not, you're gonna crash. This battery strap is also included with this and also comes with this little plate that is designed to go under your battery. That way you're not actually landing completely on your battery. You have this piece of carbon fiber between your battery and the ground and hopefully that'll help save your battery in a few uh, crashes. Also you can kind of see it hanging out right here. This is the power distribution board that comes with it and it has a uh, full voltage output. VCC usually means that it's outputting the same voltage as what's coming in. And on this other side over here, this is where it has a 5 volt output and a 12 volt output. And there are the little smaller ones inside there. Usually when I run this, I'm putting 5 volts out to my flight board and I'm using the 12 volts to go up to the camera just because a regulated 12 volts is I think a little better for most cameras some of them can support wide ranges which is fine but if you run it through here then you're reducing the chance of any kind of power spikes getting to your camera because you know they're going through the, the reducer here so you shouldn't have quite as many problems with that I like to do it you don't have to whatever <laughs> Also included with this quadcopter frame, you get obviously you get this because you need this for your the XT60 connector for your power distribution board to go on there and probably be best to solder it so it's facing down because you're probably gonna be running your battery on the bottom. Well, because that's where the battery strap is, but also because there's not enough room up here on the top. Also comes with this little carbon fiber wrench that they gave you. And the bottom part here is big enough for uh, your most the uh, lock nut on Emacs motors. It's a little tight getting on there, but and I feel like I'm gonna bend the shaft when I use it, but I'm not really sure why they would give you this because nothing on this frame really requires it, I guess just to be nice. Well, uh, like I said before, this is the three millimeter main plate and it also comes in four millimeter and this is not measuring correctly. There we go. And this comes in at four millimeters, 4.2 millimeters, 4.4. 4.4 um, but four millimeters is pretty good for four for uh, five inch propellers you're gonna have a real hard time breaking this some people are gonna want three millimeter plates because they're gonna be a little bit lighter and they would be a little bit faster in their races because they're lighter also on this plate it has these little cutouts back here on the back I don't know if you can see them very well right here these little cutouts and it's like like as if you're gonna put some kind of rubber band or something on there to hold something down which I'm not real sure how that all works also up here on the top plate, they kind of did an alien kind of thing where they gave you the two pieces up here and these two uh, little holes up here toward the front right here where my finger are, finger is. Those, uh, I think, I'm not sure on this, but I think they want you to like 
you're supposed to stick your antennas down through there, and this is supposed to be some kind of antenna holder. I guess either that or it's just some kind of fancy uh, video transmitter holder, which I wouldn't I wouldn't think it would be that, but it actually gives you the third hole on this side. So if you want to take the top plate and turn it around, I guess. But I don't know why if they weren't planning on having those antenna wires run through there, why they would even make that a separate piece. So I, I guess that's what it's for. But again, also up here though, when you have these short screws that go down through two pieces of carbon fiber now, it's, it's just not enough thread getting down through here. So if you actually buy this, you need to also order a set of longer uh, screws for it. I'm making some decent progress on this Whippet frame from Detroit Motors. But one thing I wanted to show you is that, see how much this is squished together so the motors are sticking out a little, back, a little bit further and they're uh, a little bit more space this way. This one is really is a true X. Even though it doesn't look like quite like it's a true X because of the elongated body, it really is. And I think if you're used to flying X or uh, X shaped quadcopters, this one's not going to be much different. Now, one big difference between other quadcopters and this one is this one manages to keep the camera up a little bit further, whereas on some of the other X's, because of their square body, the camera actually sits back a little bit further, usually above the flight board. So if you're if you're haven't had any X frames before, this one won't be as big of a change if you're coming from something like an LS210 as a normal X one would with the square body in it. The paper here says that it's supposed to uh, measure in at 214 millimeters from motor to motor. So if I put this uh, ruler on here, there we go, and we measure over here, it comes up to be about 214, I guess, maybe, maybe 214, 215, 214, pretty good. Also, if we measure from this center motor to the center motor up here, it comes in about 151, if I'm measuring right. 151, 150-ish, and if I go from the uh, front to back, it comes in about the same thing. So this really is a square frame, it's or a, and a true X frame. Let's go ahead and measure the distance between these two plates. Comes in about 30 millimeters, so if you're looking for a different color of spacers, you're gonna need 30 millimeters if you want the uh, front piece to work with it. Um, also, let's go ahead and get some the weight off of this. This hopefully this is supposed to be under 100 grams. I'm not sure if it really feels like that or not, but we'll see. Let me try to get this on here without touching the sides. So look at this. It's just barely over 100 grams. 103.4 kind of bounces back and forth between 103.4 and 0.3. But some of this weight is also because of this power distribution board and also because of the battery strap on the bottom of it. If you took those off, I, I would bet this thing's going to be under 100 grams, which is pretty impressive for uh, this kind of quadcopter to not weigh uh, more than 100 grams. So this is the real ACC X210 from Banggood. Now this is actually a clone of another frame, and yet I think, I'm not sure, but I think Banggood actually started mailing these out to customers before the original frame got mailed out, which is, uh, it's, it's sad and it's really, no, nothing else. It's really just sad because it's such a good design, I think, and I hate to see that it gets cloned well before the original has time to make it to the market. Anyway, if this thing had a little bit longer screws, all you know, screws all the way around pretty much, and if this little plate that goes in between the, the two plates up here was a little bit bigger, this would be a pretty solid frame. But you can get extra screws if you want, the longer screws, and it would be pretty good still. The only problem with this right now is just that the plate's missing. But if you, depending on how you're gonna run your GoPro on here, you probably run your strap through here, up here around this. So it would be, you know, it's gonna rest on this stuff more than that little plate in the middle. The little plate in the middle would give you something to have like a piece of foam to sit on so that your uh, GoPro would have a little bit more, uh, you know, maybe vibration dampening inside there. But without it, it's, it probably won't be that much worse. You could just put the foam back here and the foam up here and it'd probably work just as well. Anyway, the real AC210 from Banggood. If you have any questions about this, leave in the comments and I will try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching. I have a giveaway video coming up soon where I'm celebrating 10,000 subscribers. Amazing. I never thought people would be this interested in quadcopter frames and reviews. Anyway, it's also going to be celebrating Banggood's 10 year anniversary. They got a big sale coming up soon and I'm going to be giving away uh, 10 uh, battery straps to keep the th 10 theme going. I'm also going to be giving away a quadcopter frame that I've reviewed previously here on the channel. 
Uh, it might be this one, it may not. I have to decide. I still kind of like this one, even though the screws are too short and the little plate up here falls out. I still like this one. But it'll be a frame that I actually liked and not one that I thought was kind of junky. I hate to give away that stuff that's junky. I'll give that away at the races to whoever comes in last. Anyway, yeah, it's going to be a giveaway video. Make sure you subscribe, and there's going to be some the rules to be explained in that on how you can uh, hopefully win one of the prizes.